Set your butane torches to high and your expectations to low. Coming to you live from just the tip cigars in the hills of the Steel City. Get ready to get your fix. This is the Cigar Junkies Podcast. Welcome to the Cigar Junkies Podcast. The cigar show for the community by the community. A forum that talks stoogies, booze, food, and anything else in the cigar lifestyle. If you're looking for ratings, negativity, reviews, or an authority on all things cigars, you came to the wrong place. Whether you like what you hear or not, please join the conversation and let us know by finding us at the Cigar Junkies Facebook group. Or emailing us at the Cigar Junkies at gmail.com. What's up, junkies? What's Probably up? use a little bump on that monitor, just a little bit. What? Well, a little bump on the monitor, that's all. Okay. On the PA, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You ever get the feeling you forgot something? Has it ever given you PTSD? Like, like I saw it in your face, okay? So, like, here's one level of, of, oh, I fucked up, I forgot something. I forgot to hit the record button. That's okay. We could pull the audio from other places. If you forget the microphones, though, a little bit harder, a little bit harder to do the show. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a tough tough pill to swallow on the plus side i found out how fast i can get home from here if i have it doesn't to. take long yeah so if i get a text from the wife going hey where are you 12 minutes i can be home in 12 minutes yeah. you, you realize you just admitted that to her. i do yeah, yeah so now if she's still sleeping okay yeah we're okay but this is recorded yeah i know she is not listen to record okay. she just pops in and out. shannon banks has joined the chat yeah i know it's so all good how was your week bud my week was uh my week was fine. It was it was not particularly interesting. My last night was a hell of a week. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. It was uh, it was everything you would hope it would be. It was chaotic, fun, energetic, disturbing in some time, some senses. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, did did so? Patty was here yesterday. Yes. Patty wasn't here. No. Oh. Uh, Just Chichinga. Lucky dude. She has what I'm going to call the peekaboo dress on when she came yesterday. This dress has like three or four inch sections where every other stre- uh, section just shows skin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. Yeah. Until she goes peekaboo and pulls it and all the stuff that was covered is uncovered and all the stuff that was uncovered is covered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was mind altering. Um, yeah. Oh, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the same man I was yesterday. Uh, that seems appropriate considering the we'll crowd you're with. Have a moment of silence for, for Corey's uh, uh, innocence. Seneca said he has the same one. The same dress or the same terrible memory? <laughs> Two uh, things can be true. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, so yeah, but uh, did the asylum deck party last night? It was uh, awesome. Before that though, yo, y'all motherfuckers ever get a chance to go to a Curcio fucking pool party? Go. That's what I've been told. Yeah, dude. Holy, s- like I thought I invite people to a parties. Mm. Twenty five people show up. Yeah, or twenty five percent. I'm sorry. Like so, my wife's like, "Why'd you invite a hundred people?" It's like, "Cause I want to have twenty five people over." You know, <laughs> no, these dude, there was jeeps parked the whole way up the street. I guess that's the thing. If you if you have a jeep, you have friends. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a club. They be doing that, whatever they do with their fingers to each other. No, no, no. It's it's different than that. There's a certain number of fingers. Yeah, they got like a little fucking handshake and shit. No, I had them for like. A decade it's not and a half. full wave. Yeah, you just go like that with there two you fingers. So you're yeah. holding the wheel, and yeah. Patty needs more than two, but everybody else is just two. Um, so fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Very nice in ground pool. Fucking, he's got grill going, smoker going, ridiculous amounts of foods. You know, very very nice setup. Uh, thank you very much for having us over. Uh, if we hadn't had to run over to the leading house afterward, I would have I would have made that party crazy. Yeah. Uh, I would have. Now, that brings me to my first, let's call it, um, obstacle of the day. Have you ever gone to a pool party knowing you have to go somewhere else later and forget to pack underwear? Because it happened to me. No, yeah, I don't think no, I have. Not something I mean, I can you guys see can relate it, I can to? I see it, the potential Un- being there. You don't underwear's, underwear's not a... 
Yeah. Here's it's, the thing. It's not a deal breaker for me, man. If I don't have underwear, I, am, I don't have underwear. I, am, I do not free ball. I've got enough of a bush that it doesn't matter. Okay, it's, well, the, so beach. That, it's the bush. That, <laughs> that leads me to an interesting part of the evening is like, so I go to use the restroom. And I spend about 30 seconds trying to pull my underwear aside. And I'm like, ah, I keep pinching my pubes. Oh, it's just my pubes. There's nothing else there. You know what I mean? That that was the that was part of the that, struggle. That actually yeah. qualifies as oversharing. Yeah. That that one falls yeah. all the way in on oversharing on that one. We could we could be cigar junkies, the oversharers. No, I'm just gonna go with that was oversharing. Yeah, we we're, we're not gonna brand it. We're just gonna let it be what it is, oversharing. Right. So then we get final final time two with the leaning house. Well, I'm gonna call it. Why do we keep looking at the window? I'm gonna call it final time three because. Mm -hmm. Two thirds of them was there, and another guy because the awesome bald dude that normally wears all the hats yeah. broke his leg in the woods. Oh, Ow. bro, fucking jacked up story. Because this guy, I guess, Ow. does this walk every day, like a two and a half mile walk through the woods from his house. Fucking it was like two and a half miles, like the furthest point from his house, and just randomly fell and broke his leg and didn't have his cell phone <sighs> and had to hop. All the way back to his house on one fucking leg. Oh. It, it supposedly took like hours. Yeah, like that, dude, I would see how that would take some time. I would have personally just laid down and been like, "Okay, this is it. I'm not making it back." Like it was, it was a good life. Maybe, maybe cut a little bit short, but something had to do it. Broken leg in the woods. All right, you know, scavengers come get me. Uh, I'm done. And he hop along, Joe. It. My my guy's got some uh, fortitude, you know. To yeah, get, get that's. Back. So that was cool. They packed up. I don't know what time. Ten. I I think they didn't play like longer than normal. Mm -hmm. So they wrap up. And being who I am, um, the most accurate adjective anybody's ever used to describe me is extra. I was gonna go with the tension whore, but I mean extra works. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair. <laughs> what do you you know where this is going already? <laughs> Did you see his face when I said it? <laughs> Well, I mean, I did have to I, literally here. start a show just so people could come. I guarantee look and you, at some point, you got up in front of everybody and played guitar. Yeah, but but I didn't s steal one or nothing. Oh, so I here's know. the thing. I here's know. the thing. The only person I told I had shit with me <laughs> was Scales. <laughs> he was the only one that did what? The only person that knew what I had with me oh. was Scales. So, like, when we went to the Curseos, I have my PA, my amp, guitar, yeah. all kinds of shit in there. Just in case somebody says, hey, fucking, because if I go places, sometimes these particular people are like, hey, fucking do some shit. So nothing came up there. Cool. Left it be. We get to the leaning house, get through the show, and then Scales is like, you should bring up your shit and play. You should bring up your shit and play. I'm like, I am that guy. I'm the extra guy. I'm the attention whore. Okay, I'm down with all that shit. But I'm not going to be the one that's like, hey, man, could I bring oh, my yeah. shit in? So it's like if you if you want me to ask Dave if Dave's cool with it, but I'm not going to ask him. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. He had and the band, so yeah. instead he went to Kara, which is you know messed up. I mean, you follow the chain of command, you don't jump over to the the higher the up. boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't go to the fucking CEO. You take your shit to your supervisor first. But Kara's like, yeah, okay. So we swept my shit up there, and I think. I think I packed up. I think I played until like 1.30 in the morning. Oof. And then <laughs> passed too much. up and drove home, got home at like 2.30. So. Wait a I minute. So you're that. saying you played after the band played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he didn't play in lieu of the band, which is good. <laughs> okay. or, right. And I didn't force myself upon them or anything. Right, Seneca right, didn't, right. Uh, doesn't agree with the tension whore. He believes in bite size for you. Uh, Troy Harper says, you, Two Hello. things can be true. Yeah, this is true. Uh, Troy Harper said, "Good morning, guys," and my my mother up, said, Harper? "Good morning as well." So, um, what's up, Mama Mark? Hoffman? I know she's not Hoffman yeah, no more, yeah. but it's just it's like, easier, man. I, it's, it, yeah, carry the she she used to be. I mean, she she expelled some Hoffmans. Yes, so, I'll just call her Sam's mom. Mama of Hoffman. I like it. Sam's mom. I like. I just call okay. her Mama from now on. Mm, pretty that's much only you. if you're about to follow up with that. Just killed a man. That's like I would, that's about the only time I would go with that. I that works for me. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know what we should do? What should we do? We should uh inform these good folks about how they can like subscribe and 
pay attention to our media. On uh, the, we're doing on, that all, all fucking all... ready. We, I was just—I figured I'd just throw it out there real quick. Like you're I mean, gonna it, do it three times. Yeah. Is that is that is that the no? I'm signal? the transition. Ask him how his week was. Uh, that oh, he was implying. Yeah. No, he you, was gonna get, I, you I didn't give him a chance on purpose. I just figured, yeah. you know, YouTube, Spotify. How was your week? An email. Uh, good. I, I I'm gonna skip right to the highlight of my week. You spent all week subscribing. <laughs> oh yeah, subscribe, <laughs> subscribing and listening to the junkies' content. There you go. Um, Fuck. <laughs> What up, Dougie Dog? Um, no, the highlight of my week was that email we got. That was probably the, that was oh awesome. the one, the one that was Jason's highlight of the week. So I get a text message from Corey. He's like, "Check the junkies' email." Oh yeah. Like, Wait, what? <laughs> I'm Dude, here for it, man. So we get an email from somebody letting us know they listened to an older episode where we talked about furries. Aye, at smoke. Yeah, at smoke. So I mean, like episode 18, I think it was, or 20. It's like back it, here. it was back pretty much a year earlier and then last week we furries came up again on the show coincidentally so like i was confused for a minute i'm like wait a minute is yeah that's what i thought they were talking about of, of the furries yeah they i, I am they come up i'm not i'm not a furry myself but i appreciate the culture and the well, lifestyle i don't work with very, the boys because i used to be one just um, just the speedo <laughs> range yeah at that area but no that was hysterical i just like the it's cool, man. How coincidental it was was yeah, it was awesome. Because here's the thing, dude. Like, we've got the fucking demographics covered now for sure, right? Like, yeah. I mean, we we yeah, got yeah. we know we got a little bit. Of we everything. have a variety. Yeah, we got the we got the bases covered. The demographics. Yeah, that's gonna be a very helpful sales pitch whenever I'm going and being like, hey, give us some money. You know what I mean? Like, we could go after costume shops now, <laughs> Comic-Con, be like, we got the furries, bro. We got the furries, bro. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, we got the Comic-Con crowd. If and I've a got fucking a fucking dope pickup truck. Yes. If yeah. I've got a transition, I suppose I'll be the one that bites the bullet and becomes the furry. I mean, I already have a giant I feel like you If he was going to transition, I assumed it would be to Jessica. Uh, if I were to take a girl's name, so it would either be, be that or Vicky. You going for rabbit? Oh, what? What would Two your furry animal be? be true. What would my furry yeah, animal be? Yeah, what would your furry animal be, too? Because I'm going to ask Honey Badger. Oh, man. Do you have for Honey Badger? Oh, yeah. Because you don't give a shit? That's right. All right. I don't know. I'll have to give you don't, Honey Badger. You don't, don't care. You your furry? It's more fun to have somebody assign it to you, <gasps> I think. Because I've know. never decided on I know. Myself. Do you know? I could, Take a good look at him and then, and then do it with me. I, I, got, I, got, I got nothing. Skunk. I would Absolutely, do a skunk. Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, I would do a yes. skunk. Hundred percent. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No, yep. I, I, mean, I feel like you, I could... you know. I don't. Don't worry. I got one too. You know what I mean. But I think the honey badger's got some white also. So I think that's no, fitting. But I feel like yeah. Fucking skunk all the way, bro. Yeah, unless Bill Coins there. Billy's got him beat. He yeah, has true. the streak. Sure. He's he's more like tails bro. the fox. Because he's got the ginger. Oh, yeah. Ginger yeah. and white. This is true. He could be a. F and, and his place is called the blind. Oh, it's oh. all fucking coming together. It's like we never knew, but we knew the whole time. I'm just very not observant. It's like fucking one year later. One year later. Uh, <laughs> or rabid raccoon, nasty. <laughs> Seneca said, or rabid raccoon. <laughs> nasty. I am, I am a nasty motherfucker. It's, it's true. It's true. Except it's true. He's just eating shit out of the trash, smoking shit out of the bathroom. Yeah, doesn't even matter. Uh uh. Speaking it's of like, oh, what's stuff, this, what's let's this find I found on the floor? Let's find out. What are we? Why'd you push a button on there? I was changing the camera. Ah, uh, makes sense. It's time for the Cigar of the Week, brought to you by Leaning House Fine Cigars. The Leaning House is your destination for the ultimate cigar smoking experience. Whether you're exploring their wide selection of premium cigars, unwinding in their comfortable lounge, or enjoying live music on one of the most unique and intimate live music venues in the Berg, the house has something for everyone. You want to try the stick we're smoking today? Stop by LeaningHouseFineCigars.com or visit Dave in Bell Vernon or Heidi in Brownsville. Wherever you are, make the house your home for premium cigars. Make the house your home indeed. <laughs> Dougie Doug got me. <laughs> That was pretty good. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. down with it. So, Doug, Dougie Doug chose, Jesus. chose Groundhog Are you just catching up? I, I looked over it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> not, 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 not naked, naked mole rat, though. Oh, uh, no, not naked yeah. mole rat. I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. So, well, listen, I apologize, but, but we're like set up the transition, and you were like, boom, and then just sat there, and I was like, uh, that wasn't the button. No, I was switching cameras, and then I saw you look at me like, what the fuck? Nothing happened. 
and it it kind of it would have been different if he was like boom boom, but it was just boom, and then just chilled for a minute. I was like, no, he that had, was he not had the right button. Like this, but he was looking at you. Yeah, I that'll know, happen. I, I, I yeah, can like, see the other, uh, other angle of the hand. He was there. trying to see the reflection of the button in my head. Doug, like, Doug, I'm so happy with that dog. cat thing right now. Oh yeah, like, that that's just good. like, yeah. My mom said that I'm the groundhog because my birthday is Groundhog Day, so it's a thing. It does make sense. Yeah, yeah. it's there. I, I just like the insulation to be a groundhog. Uh, don't forget, guys. Put it on your calendars. Uh, so Junkies Day is February third. Corey, are you born on a weird holiday? No, I'm. He's born on February second. I'm born right. on February fourth, uh, which is why February third is Junkies Day. Is because uh, it's the day between gotcha. our birthdays, and because February yeah. really needs something because February sucks. February is alright. It's, it's, it's the worst fucking leap year, year, man. That's why it's the shortest. Like uh, it's terrible. You're, you're, you're Groundhog's Day. Yeah, right? I'm Guy Fox Day. And Corey's nothing. I mean, I'm remember, sure it's something day. The 5th of November. Bingo. The day that Jason Smith was born. We are smoking the CLE Azabache. This is a 5x50 Robusto. Uh, CLE, of course, stands for what? Christian something Eroa. Lewis. That Christian Lewis Eroa. Luis. No. It could Luis. be. Yeah, I'm going to go with nice. Louis, but I, I do like Luis. I like Louis. It's, it's way more. Gonna, if you're going to put American, that yeah. name in a title of something, it, regardless of how it was pronounced before, it automatically goes to Louis. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, Fair. it's Christian Luis Eroa. Yeah. It, just, it, it's, it gives that a fish. Is Cigar Sports a San Andreas Maduro wrapper, a Honduran binder, and fillers from Honduras, Peru, and Nicaragua? You got, a, you got, a, got a nice little box press here. I will say I really like the shape of it. Yeah. Better, like better than most box presses. I feel like it's pressed a little thinner. The shape of you. It's just different. It's not that it, 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 I mean, it doesn't change anything for me, but I, I like that it's different. And most of their box presses are like that where they're a little narrower, but they, I've never had one that didn't draw great. So, so. it's interesting. So I was trying to find the connection. I eventually did, but so I'm looking for the translation of Azabache. Mm -hmm. And it is essentially jet black, is like jet black is one of the terms, right? Which is then essentially a mineral, right? There's like fucking this jet black fucking stone. But apparently... Oh, it's called jet. Yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, it makes sense. What else would they name it? Jet black and jet? Yeah, it's, it's all coming together. Uh, so essentially, though, in Honduras, that jet gem is regarded as a good luck charm mm. and as a bache. Because I'm looking at it going like, it's not that dark. No. You know, like it's not an Oscuro. Do, do, speaking of fucking mirror cats, you guys are like fucking parakeets in a mirror. I, so hey, hey, you, you got to quit following him. I expect him to look out there. He's looking for customers. You're like, what am I missing? I'm drawing your attention every time. It's, it's pretty mm -hmm. fun. Hey, what, so where, where does the term jet black come from? I'm curious on that. Like, why is jet black? Because that's the name of the gem. Jet. Jet is the name of the gem. The name of so the like gem. The, it's the, a black gem. Oh, yeah, it's a black gem. That's why they say Give jet me a black. picture. I want to see. All right. Get that going. It's a rock six, six, that's six, black. Six, six, I, don't, six, six, I don't know how a picture is going to help. Well, I want to see a black rock. Come on. I mean, and not after I'm done bucks, putting it in. Little man, oh. put that shit. That's in jet my right there. Hand. Oh, okay. What does it look like? It looks describe like, it for the people. It's pretty cool. It's a, a shiny. It's a black rock. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know that I would. Describe <laughs> it's actually it. a stone. Yeah, fair, I, I don't know that fair. I would call it I black. I, I think I think I would call no, it jet black. More like really just. No, it's deep. It, 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 yeah. It's deep. It's deep. No, it's like a cavernous cool. hole that absorbs all light. But it has a obsidian quality to mm -hmm. it. Very much so. Okay. Well, I didn't. Another I, black. I didn't rock. know it was a gem. Or, Rock or mineral, whatever. I, did, I didn't know. I didn't know. Nor did I until I, I looked it up. You know, pretty cool. So fucking, you know, learning shit. Still. Yeah, so it's, good. It's, it's it's become an education mode in the gold podcast. Yeah, they, the, the kids podcast. at home aren't we learning educated. anything because they're like, you guys are freaking idiots for not yeah. knowing this. It would have taken, learning. Yeah, would have taken them important. three seconds to Google it themselves, yeah. but but they wouldn't have known that the question exists. Like, oh, it's jet black. Oh yeah, yeah. it's just it's jet black. Here's the problem is they need a crayon, a crayon named Jet, and then Sam, Sam would understand. What flavor would that one be? Uh, wax. They're all wax. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pink, 
The the pink crayons are the best. They taste they way. What better. do they taste like? Pink crayon. It's its own. I mean, it's a unique flavor. Okay. Each color. No adds tasting depth. note. I mean, until you've really tried them all, it's kind of hard to give tasting notes on it. So I, I assume. I, don't you, think I you, assume you've been around the box. I, I, I assume, fa- yeah, screw, uh-huh. yeah, screw Baskin Robbins and their thirty-one Crail has oh, got nay, sixty-four. Nay. And you've had them all, hey, all in one box. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jonesy said, "Okay, you guys are going to start learning me stuff. I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> no, Jonesy, thank you. If you learn things from this show, it is definitely time to look in a mirror and reevaluate your your negative. Life. Yeah. That is not true. You are going to always learn something from the show. You just probably don't want to learn it. Yeah, it, it'll yeah, probably be a fact that you're like, man, it's I, probably uh, something, I should not have listened to that. Something very personal about me. <laughs> well, I mean, there's definitely... Those are usually the things that they're... Rick and Morty, yes? Yeah. I know you, yeah, yes? Yeah. No. The Morty's Mind Blowers? Uh-huh. Yeah. I imagine that if that was a real thing... Everybody in our audience would be like, all right, here's something about Corey. I just want to forget. Just suck the memory he right out of your head. Rick makes a device for Morty. It's like a, a thing that wipes out certain memories, selective memories, you know? So it's like, you know, he's so horrified and traumatized by an event they experienced, he has to take that memory away because he wouldn't be able to live otherwise. Just one event? Like, I've only no, seen like, clips of that show, but I feel like no, 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 it's there's constantly... Oh, no, they there. have a library of yes. Morty's and Rick's memories. Oh, really? Yeah. It, and the best part is, it's not just shit that traumatized him. Like, there's categories. It's like stuff that was his fault, stuff that was Rick's fault, and then there's stuff that Rick doesn't want him to remember. Like, he mispronounces something one time and he's so Morty's, like, fucking laughing at him. Smartest man in the universe you know, fucking pronounced something wrong and she was like, fuck you, and took the memory away from him just so that he couldn't hold it over his head. No, it's mine. Could be useful. Now. <laughs> be it very would, helpful. It would be very image. useful. Mm. No, see, I, I think that it's more fun to, to just give them ammo to make fun of us for. Probably, because what is inevitably going to happen is they're going to stumble into it, figure it out, and then, yeah. and then go bananas. Both people get their brains wiped and then they enter a suicide pact. It's the same every time. Yeah, that makes me think of that. What was the Jim Carrey serious movie, The Eternal Sunshine? Oh, Eternal Sunshine, yeah. The Spotless Mind. Dude, yeah, that was. Speaking of like memories getting wiped, did you ever see yeah, that? I wanna... Oh, he, he goes through a bad breakup after a long term thing. Goes to somebody to have his memories of this person wiped. Oh, but in the process of having your memories wiped of somebody, you have to basically live through a bunch of those memories, and it it's. I don't think you would like it, actually, now that I think about it more. Do you? You know, I might. What? Do you think you'd like that movie? <clears throat> it doesn't seem like his kind of movie to me, man. What about, uh, was it the number 23? That was 23. Awesome. That was, that was, that was cool, a crazy man. movie, man. I, 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 I was like, lot. whoa, that was Jim, Jim Carrey. Jim Holy Carrey. shit. When, yeah. he, when, when, they, when they finally revealed him and he had all those fucking tattoos yeah. and shit, that was fucking badass. Yeah, I was like, like, I want to look like what? that. <laughs> uh, uh, no fair, Mom. My mom's going to meet my kiddos. No. Uh. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Not. Not okay. Meet them for the first time. What? She gets to go hang out with my kids. I'm why stuck are here they? With him. Why are they ABCs? Abner, Bubba, and Clem. So whenever you have triplets, they refer to them as baby A, baby B, baby C. Oh. So she named them Abner, Bubba, and Clem. And she had. I mean, we didn't have know the genders or anything. So she just that's the name <laughs> she called them. I want to know which so my, one's Bubba. That'd be Charlie Rose. Okay. Oh, and, and, and she she's proud of it. She's, yeah. I'm Bubba. He's Clem. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, they they love their nicknames from Grammy. So fair enough. Yeah. But dude, no, uh number twenty three. Did you ever like actually sit down and like start trying to do it just for fun? Yeah, but that no that cause that leads to the movie. Dude. Bro. So here's the thing. I can you see can a do hole there. that with almost any yeah, number. Pretty yeah. Yeah. It's it's a it, but twenty three because it's I don't remember if it's a it's not a prime number, but it, it isn't? No, is it? It, yeah. Yes, it's a prime yeah, number. It, so it's yeah, a prime number. Prime. Have to so be. because it's just how it works in like the numerical algorithm that 23 just happens to be that number. It's a real it's, easy one yeah, to do it with. It's yeah. an easy one to do it with. But it was, it's fun because I did it for like two weeks afterwards. Yeah, dude, like just paying attention to it. Like, oh after my God, I watched I the movie, there. I was like, where's 23 at? Yeah. Oh, my God. I see it everywhere. Yeah. I'm going to add up I mean, the numbers in my social security number. Because didn't he kill like a hooker or something? I'm trying to remember. What I mean, we've all been in the hotel room. He killed somebody. I can't remember if it was me that killed the hooker or if it was him. Two things can be true. But it's any, true. Anyways, I mean, I, I didn't <laughs> go as far as that. 
So right, yeah, I didn't go all 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 the way to full psycho, but yeah. So what else is going on? What else is new and exciting other than you know people subscribing and liking stuff from the junkies? Well, so like three days ago, do it. I heard that you can essentially you can take the number thirty one and and get it in anything. And uh, I got mildly obsessed with it for about three days. Okay. And there may or may not be a body in the back of my truck that that I need to take the dump when I leave here. So, okay. Yeah. It's been about it. I mean, the dump's really not the best place. What you want to do is you want to get some pigs. Yeah. Okay. Now, you, you want to pull the teeth and shave the hair yeah. because they, they have trouble digesting that. But yeah, you yeah. need about seven pigs to digest a 200-pound body. It, never mind. Uh, never mind. I'm giving up secrets. I don't want to get mm, That's uh, true. I love that yeah. movie, too, by the way. Movie? Uh, oh, yeah. Snatch. Snatch. Yeah. You going to buy a egg? The dead. The dead. No. You buy a caravan. You buy a caravan, I give caravan. a free egg. You want a caravan? Give it. Every caravan comes with an egg. Hey, you like dogs? No, I'm good, thanks. You like dogs? Dogs? Yeah, I like dogs. That happens to be one of my favorite movies. Of course Did it you is. hear the pig rant that I, I went absolutely on? love that. Of course it is. Oh, it, about never it, trust a man that owns a pig farm. Well, he, essentially. He's like, I got a body in the back of the truck. I was like, no, you, you don't want to go to the dump. What you need is about seven pigs. See, a seven-pound pig. Uh, seven yeah. pigs can, a see, pig can chew through two pounds of flesh in about seven minutes. Which means <laughs> hungry as a hog. I there used to go. have the the and now we're all on the FBI watch list. His uh, his little rant content. that was like, "Do you know what Nemesis is? Yeah. Yeah. A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent, personified by a horrible cunt." Me. Me. That was my dad's ringtone when he called really? me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Dougie Doug. Uh, Seth Jones said you do a vertical hole and then put a dead animal on top. I do like that method. I prefer yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the septic tank with the animal on top, though. That works even better because you get the live enzymes, which Ooh. truly breaks it down. You know what Paul told me at work? This is why, the, why body disposal comes up around me, I don't know. But Did you bring it up? He says, no, I, I didn't bring it up there. Okay. Um, he says, you just read the obituaries. He says, you, you find out who passed away. You go to the cemetery. They already dug the hole for yeah, you. Pull it up. You just dig it a little bit deeper, throw it in, cover it up. They bought it, bury another body on top. Good. Bada bing, bada They've boom. They've been using that method yep. for years. Yeah. Who's they? Bad peoples. <laughs> them? All right, fair enough. They them? I just, I just wanted to see if I could catch you in something. You know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> oh, man, you know what that reminds me of? Did I, did I tell you about my non, did I tell you my non-binary joke? Go ahead. Okay. Does this have something to do with your furry costume? No. So, Check out my non-binary tail. So, so where do non-binary hillbillies live? Where, Jason? Them their hills. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. It's it's terrible dad joke, but I like it. Oh. <laughs> that there. You. you know what's funny is it it makes me think of um, Lion Estates from Back to the Future. Yeah. Fucking just like the call it like a really nice place and it just says them slash their hills on the placard whenever yeah. you enter the community. I think it'd be more like a trailer park there. Well like them their hills. Yeah, but here's they took it back and they made it, you know, fancy. Yeah, they, true. They, they, <laughs> Did you see the they, text message I sent you last night? Maybe. Oh, Probably yeah. not though. I sent you it the was a uh, busy I sent you the 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 Taking it back thing. Oh, yeah? No shit? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. What is oh, taking it back? I got this from, apparently, somebody sent this to my wife, and then she sent it to me, and I'm like, why? And then I realized where it was taken, and I was like, oh, okay, that I know where who that was. That? It, it's the rock with a PP on him, I guess. Bro, that's Don the Cock Johnson. That is Don the Cock Johnson. I tried Dawn. not to I look at Dawn. it too long. Dawn oh, the ins Dwayne wait. The, oh, the thing you told me to send him? Yeah. I did not. Oh, but, and, man. And Shannon goes, aren't you going to look at it first? And I says, no. And she goes, aren't you curious? I'm like, if I need to know, I'll find out later. But with dudes, see, girls don't understand. Dudes will send each other just the most nasty shit, yeah, just to get them to look at it. And when when someone does it to you, then you're you're obliged to pass it on. It's like, you know, the spanking hazings at the fucking college. Like I'm doing it to you because someone it's did it thing, to yeah. me, yeah. And so I'm like, 
<laughs> there could be any number of things in here. And, and I I don't want to find out right now. I guess this could be for later, you know. Did you watch it? Did I watch what? The thing I sent you that he sent me to send you. No, you didn't send it to me. You just said that you didn't send it to me. No, I did send it to you. I said I didn't open it. Oh. I text messaged it to you. So he did neither oh, one Instagram of us. Th- yes. 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 So now you know where I'm taking it, it back, back comes from. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how I feel right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> I, I did it without sound on. That was the problem. Uh, so was were you reading uh, captions? No, I was working. It's cool. I'm taking it back. <laughs> taking it back. Uh, not so great. Not Sam's so taking great. back captions from the deaf yeah. people. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to slouch because my. I was good all week, man. All week. It was just slowly getting better. I was feeling good. I feel like I could use a shorter chair because then it, I wouldn't have to lean down. You could actually mic. just aim the mic up more. Like I've, I have have, ability to see, set I've been doing it little by little. Yeah. I just don't want to keep messing with it. Yeah. I just, I, 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 I want to be able to get out of the mic. But in doing that, it means I have to kind of slouch while we're talking. That's no fun. But does Mike want to get out of you? Probably not. He it's, sure doesn't. It's mm-hmm. amazing mm-hmm. in there. It's cozy. I can't quit you. <laughs> I can't quit you. Uh, uh, so did you, you didn't try the coffee? I did not. Nobody offered me any. What was your, I did offer. I did mm. when I offered him. Mm. So what do you think of it? I like it. Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of flavored coffees. No. Nah. This one's pretty good. And I caught that it was <laughs> the first thing after I took a sip of it, I was like, is there booze in this? <laughs> Did you did, did you know I, I got I gotta go do that work thing, bro? I got a work afternoon shift today, man. Are you trying to get me all drunk up? So B, <laughs> BGD's buddy Eric sent this to us. Uh, non-alcoholic spirit infused coffee, black cherry bourbon oh. by Fire Department Coffee. Okay, but it's pretty damn good. Pretty Anything tasty. that BGD hands you and says here, this is infused, well, is something that you just go, thank you. No, old boy had it delivered to the shop. All right, oh, there yeah. you go. Right. He had an Amazon safe set. handling. Yeah. And then was here when I got here, so that was kind of cool too. But I was I was nervous uh, about I, w- I was nervous with that crew. What was because he's like, what's well, something about for, you know? It, it, I thought of it on last episode, so and I was like, bro, I know what we talked about last episode. If you get me something regarding, and he's talking about the fact that I was out of coffee. Mm. I'm like, if you sent me a furry suit, bud, we're gonna have a problem. What if it was duck coffee? Duck coffee. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. That'd be twisted. Duck yeah. butter coffee. Uh, yeah. uh, duck butter. The twisted quacker coffee. Twisted quacker. Twisted yeah. quacker. I'm all right, we're gonna, we can play with that. We're, we're going to follow so, it. So I'm curious. Did you share to everywhere you normally share to? Mm-hmm. Okay. I assumed you did. Yeah. <laughs> I waited this time. Here's the thing. Just... Our normal group is either oh, passed yeah. out we're hung over as fuck right now. Right, yeah. yeah. Like all of them. Well, some of them are on their way. <laughs> to like, here? Yeah. Okay. Like, they, they went home. They texted me at 6 o'clock this morning, like, going to try and get some sleep, but we'll see you. I was like, but you're still coming out here? Like, dude, it's 6 in the morning. You, you're not obligated to show. I, I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the fact that I'm not the guy getting the 6 a.m. texts from people because I'd be like, what the fuck? You're just the guy that's like, yeah, we know you're up. Yeah. So you're going to get those those yeah. text messages. Yeah, I'm the time. guy that people are like, eh, he might be sleeping. Well, that's I probably am. I don't miss that about shift work at all because people be like, oh, I was going to text you, but I was afraid that you weren't going to be awake. Well, how about still tell me now at some you point? Get all the like text. just say, but like mine's always been set up where my text alerts always fairly quiet. Mm. So like I I I don't just text me whenever text me, call that's me. Good. I'm not going to be happy about it, but text me. This fucking guy just puts his phone on do not disturb, which is which is a fine way to to operate. However, Jason doesn't remember where he is. He doesn't know where his keys are, his phone. The only thing he successfully kept track of since I've met him is this lighter he bought here a couple of weeks ago. No, he lost that day one. Well, yeah, but yeah. He, he's still doing way better with that than most of the things. I mean, you still have your kids. No, Jen, Jen still doesn't know. As Joey, as know. Joey's not the original Joey. Yeah, he, I replaced he, that motherfucker. He was like, <laughs> goldfish. Method. He was like, oh, Swap out. yes. He was like, I need to find another one with brown hair uh, right now, you know, but I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. We don't either. Jason forgets. Oh, messages. so so what he'll do though is he'll put his phone on do not disturb and just never remember to take it off of do not disturb. I do that all the time. 
And so, yeah. My phone will be on Do Not Disturb for like four fucking days. Yes, and I'll look down at it finally and be like, because <laughs> like, I'll see every time I'll look at it and the, it's the little moon is the, uh, the, the sleep mode. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the symbol or it's the indicator that you're on Do Not Disturb mode. And uh, I'll see it like day two and I'll be like, oh, I got to take that off. Day three, same thing. I'm like, it, it's like executive dysfunction I have yep. going on in my head. And then like the fourth day, I'll look down at it and be like, when the fuck did I turn this on? Jesus Christ, I got to take this off. And then it's like 19 notifications. And I'm like, oh, shit, I got to call these his, people back. His phone goes from fully charged to like 15% in five minutes because it just vibrates nonstop. <sighs> <sighs> oh, that's when I stick it in my crotch. <laughs> 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 Uh, call it your crotch i get it um oh no that was the other thing that we talked about on the last show was the the tails yes and uh, that was another thing i was afraid that was going to show up here from this guy I was like i i do don't you better there's not still have, time you better not have got me a plug tail like i'm i'm good i don't I, it's not necessary and then um uh, because you met them last friday mm-hmm. and they indicated they're like you know if anybody you know jason's probably the most likely to actually wear one of those and i was like I, I don't know why you said that, but now I have a picture and I don't Gives want it. Gives me a whole nother reason why he'd be the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. He's over there on Adam and Eve. I don't, I don't, like picked you I don't know him, what, what, what kind of offends me more about all of this is Nothing. the fact that everybody's like, yeah, Jason would wear a butt plug or that I'm like, yeah, I'd probably do it for a gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, only when you stick it in the <laughs> other end. Seneca just said he's surprised that you don't have peekaboo clothes to match patties. <laughs> Seneca's also the one last week that said uh, that if anybody were to, to, to shame the mannequin guy, it would be Jason. Yes, he'd make, he'd make him blush. Yeah, make him blush. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I'm surprised Jingo didn't have like a, one of those with a leash that she just walks around and fucking guiding him around places by I, uh, like like a little kid with a little fucking monkey yes, fucking man. backpack. The harness. We all know it's a fucking harness. Yeah. You, you got your kid on a fucking leash. I'm hyperactive. Yeah, it's a cute. Like, I'm a hyper hypo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wear a helmet. You guys remember uh, that skit? No. Oh, it was... Mm. Um, uh, I can't think of I feel right like now. it's... Wayne from... Wayne uh, from uh, I was imagining... The, Shrek. The hell's his name? Mike Myers. Myers. Thank Myers. You. Mike Myers. Yeah. He does that on an SNL skit. He's jumping. He's in a harness. He's tied to a... Uh, play set. Um, see, I'm imagining the guy that dresses up as the little boy with the heavy cheek makeup and like the blonde bowl cut. Do it. Yeah. Like I can skip rope or whatever. Look the fuck what I he can does. do. Look yeah. what I can do. Look what I can do. <laughs> then he Look took a shit do. in the Just... pool and he's like, "The poo is chasing me. The poo is chasing me." Is that from SNL too? No, it's yeah. from Mad TV. There oh. you go. Same, same thing. Yeah, same difference. Yeah, I guess that Mike Myers one could have been from Mad TV too. Right, I don't yeah, know. timeline work. Uh, Mike Myers probably. Mike Myers he was, was on, on SNL. Bit, yeah, he was on both. Was he on yeah. both? Yeah, he was on both. Uh, Jim Carrey was Mad TV only. There was a, I don't know. It was a diverse setup. Jim Carrey was on in Living yeah, Color. Yeah, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was. So you you were yeah. talking about like he was the, Fire Marshal Bill. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, we were talking about like the the text message that like I'm not opening. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, forwarding yeah. it. Did you ever hear Tom Segura tell the story of his wife, him sending his wife one? I don't even know who Tom, whoever you is. Tom is. Segura, the comedian. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, nothing. You guys know who Barry is, right? The, the, just giant black dude that everybody sends a picture of, and it's it's like there's like a third. I didn't know his down. name, oh, but I okay. think I have yeah, an yeah, idea yeah, of who yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. is. That, that's I, I've that's got sitting there answer. looking at you yeah, like this. That, that's Big Dick Barry. I always assumed his name was Tyrone. <laughs> no, that's Big Dick Barry. I'm and Tyrone, now, and I'm here to fuck your wife. I got a bald head. I know that's good. So, so Segura <laughs> sent that one. Segura or somebody sent it to something like that. Sent it to his wife. And, but they had it as like a, a meme, like click here, you know, such and such COVID restrictions, yes. now active, all uh-huh. that stuff. And Fake he out. sent it to her. Well, she forwarded it to all of her mom friends, but never opened it as they got on a flight. Oh, no. And then her phone goes on airplane mode. So they have the whole flight. He gets off. She gets off the flight and it's all this like he's he asks her about it. He's like, hey, what would you think? Was it funny? And she's like, 
what do you mean? Was it funny? He's like, wait, didn't you open it? She's like, no, why? What is it? And he shows her. And she's like, <gasps> like the, the parent groups, the oh mom group. My. She's in. She I wish that plane would have went down. And I'm like, yes. That's so good. <laughs> exactly what you said, though. Like, you're afraid to look at it first. Yeah. But sometimes you want to make sure you look at it first. <laughs> yeah. Consi consider who sent it to you before you go forwarding mm -hmm. it. But when Jason says, send this to Sam, I ain't looking at it. <laughs> right. So it could have been him trying on his fucking skunk tail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> that was too fucking clean, man. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. But but here's the problem. it would not You would not even hear it. It would just... <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> fucking tumbleweed <laughs> oh we got a grumpy cat look we got a grumpy cat oh sorry grumpy skunk grumpy skunk grumpy skunk oh i'm gonna embrace the fuck out of this oh, you so need to we. i'm yeah. doing it Ow. Yeah. i can't laugh and you can still wear the hat the hat still fits the motif for sure right <gasps> what if we just found like one of those hats with a skunk stripe on it Jason Le Pew. Jason Le Pew. Jason Le Pew. Uh -huh. uh, well, uh, are these? Yeah, they're coming here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You right. we. Okay. I think that's a regular and a friend of hers. I don't know. Okay. How about? We'll I just out. imagine them. Ha hold on. Yeah. I imagine them having an experience like opening that that link, not knowing what it's going to be. Like when they oh, come yeah, in. Let's oh. go do our Pilates and be like, well, this isn't Pilates. Yeah. It'll be yeah. fun either way. Yeah, that's right. Fine. All right, it's yeah, time okay. for the cigar news brought to you by Tom's Penworks. As a cigar smoker, you appreciate luxury. And as a premium cigar smoker, you appreciate handmade craftsmanship. And as a customer of Tom's Penworks, you'll appreciate the selection of custom made, limited production items that you can show off to your friends. From handmade pens, pencils, bottle openers, cigar cases, and now custom rings, Tom will create something special for you or your loved one. Find them on the web at etsy.com slash shop slash Tom's Penworks. And as always, you can find the link in the description for this episode. Oh, I was waiting for Sam to interrupt my read. He's not here. Not so I guess it. I'm just going to have to interrupt myself. Start with the bump. Could you interrupt Corey? yourself with a bump. Bump, bump, bump. Vegafina will release a regional exclusive for the U.S. market. The company has announced it has begun shipping the Vegafina Exclusivo USA Patriot to the U.S. retailers. This uh, cigar features an Ecuadorian-grown wrapper over Nicaraguan binder in combination of Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers and comes in one size, a 6x54 Toro. Production comes from Tabacuera de Garcia in the Dominican Republic and a total of 1776 numbered boxes of the Vegafina exclusive USA Patriot have been created. I get it. Okay. Uh, one different thing is that while Tabacuera SLU has handled distribution for the European re regional releases, the Vega Fina Exclusivo USA Patriot will be distributed by Altadas USA. Makes sense. I get it. General Cigar has informed retailers of the latest limited edition extension to the CAO Flathead brand. A great, a great uh, packaged cigar. You familiar okay. with the Flathead? Yes. They're all box pressed, but they all have like the cool ass flathead. Dude, I got a, one yeah, of those yeah. boxes at home. It's amazing. This one's uh, definitely in that realm, too. It's got a cool box. Uh, this is going to be the CAO Flathead V23. This is the third installment of the Flathead V series. It focuses on larger ring gauge offerings. The CAO Flathead V23 follows up the Flathead V19 and the CAO Flathead V21, made at the Honduran American Tobacco SA. Or Hatsa. I like Hatsa. Hatsa rolls right off the tongue. Uh, the blend for the B23 features a Honduran wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and a combination of Honduran and Nicaraguan tobaccos. Unlike other edition, the B23 comes in one size, the MKI 660, named after Forge GT40 MK1. You figured they'd use a 40 in there, but who am I to say, you know? Which is a box press 6x60 offering presented in 20 count boxes. Uh, pays homage to the 100th anniversary of the 24 hours at Le Mans automobile race and its packaging is highlighted by the iconic blue and orange used on Ford Golf GT40 livery. Production is limited but they're not saying how limited yet so we'll have to find out later. <clears throat> 
if you're a fan of buying, see, Sam, Sam probably read this because this was a topic of conversation when I came back from running home to get the microphones. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming he's already in the loop. If you're a fan of buying Fuente, Fuente Opus X cigars, but like to age them for a few years before smoking them, you don't have to wait quite so long anymore. Prometheus International Inc. will be releasing multiple sets of rare and aged Fuente Fuente Opus X cigars throughout the remainder of this year. The first to ship is the Opus X scheduled, uh, sorry, the Opus 6 scheduled to arrive by the end of this month, retailing for more than I'd like to pay for it for a six count sampler. <laughs> Figure about a fitty. It's going to be about a fitty a piece. Not a fitty for six, a fitty a piece. That's a lot, bro. No, no, thank you. Uh, so you're talking three Benjamins and a Grant. That's correct. You, you, that's a lot of presidents, bro. It is. I, I ain't got that many presidents. I, <laughs> I, I ain't even got that many Washingtons. Uh, each, six, uh, each of the six-count samples comes in blue, yellow, red, black, and Macassar ebony. What, why, why do you think, like, this simple, simple colors for all... And then the one has to be extravagant and like extra oh, so well like, they throw you that curveball yeah, it's like well, it's just all right we got red black yellow just just put all the syllables in the last one we, we we've got a budget here and if we don't use up all the syllables they won't give us so many for the next run what's that what's that sentence that uses uh every letter of the alphabet i don't know like the quick I know brown what you're fox to. jumps over the lazy black dog or something like that it sounds right <laughs> the skunk Production is limited to 400 of each color, 2,000 sets total. Secondary bands on the cigars indicate the year that they were rolled, which is kind of a cool like idea of at least knowing when they were rolled. But, bro, so much work. dude. Just buy any other cigar brand that is made to be smoked when you buy it. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're not good when you get them. You have to sit on them. I mean, I guess if that's your jam. Dude, there, there are people that uh, like one of the things um, that's popular is <clears throat> folks will buy uh, whiskey barrels, like tiny little whiskey barrels, and then they'll sit on them and age them for however long they want to age them, whatever, you know. You buy a whiskey barrel and you're, and you're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to keep this for 35 fucking years. And Yeah, but... <sighs> I wanted to do that with my son with a yeah, little that's, scotch that's cool. barrel, like buy it on his birthday yeah. when he was born, and then on his 21st birthday, drink it with him. But, uh, you know, I never got around to it. And I'm in a similar position. But, like, at the same time, it's like, okay, I want to throw an opus in a humidor to hold on to because, like, my kid was born. I'm putting this one. We're, gonna, we're smoking two of these on his 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, right? But, like... Having a whole line of products that you cannot enjoy until you've sat on them for a long time. Like, come on, man. That sucks. And then have them be absurdly expensive. And then, yeah. in addition, have to sit on I don't know. Not my jam. But then maybe that just has something to do with my self control issues. Well, well, Troy. Well, just answering Troy's question. Oh, fucking Harper. He, Jamming on your hat, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Harper, very definitely, definitely in the running for one of our more dedicated fans, uh, I'm sure. Uh, he is he is very active, and we appreciate his participation and support. You could be like Troy Harper. You can like, subscribe, and share. Not Absolutely. just on YouTube, not just on Spotify. Get it everywhere. You can never have enough junkies. You know? It's like the opposite of monkeys. No more monkeys jumping oh on the Oh, my bed. God. <laughs> I, I didn't know where you were going with yeah, that. I generally don't either. I just It just comes out as I go. Yeah, it, it I mean, made it there. I've often thought about uh, making a, a mascot for, okay. for the show, the Junkie Monkey, uh, but it hasn't come to fruition yet. I was just going to make my gigantic 15-year-old son run around in this costume. <laughs> you know, here's the funny thing about that. So That could be your furry. As I was as I was pulling that coffee up to my mouth, and you were saying that, I was like, "Be prepared for him to say something really stupid, yeah. so you don't spit this coffee yeah. out of your mouth." That actually, to be fair, mm -hmm. to be fair, out of my full coffee fair, I, I was gonna hold it for you. I got you. <laughs> you need. <laughs> 
you you should always be prepared for me to say something stupid. That is that is not like a um, a momentary experience. It's just you just put your just shields up all the it. time. Yep. Yep. You know, uh, it, you you'll do much better in life if you're always prepared for me to say something stupid. You know what I mean? And and here's the best part is we've delayed a long time. We've stretched it out. Now Sam's going to come back with some gold, and he's just going to carry it for a little bit. It's gold, Jerry. Gold. You're supposed to push the damn button. Come on now. Uh, Troy he's Harper so wears, desperate. Uh, he's going to the buttons. Well, I just no. I just hate the buttons. Learned after last week that Boston Scully Cap was the brand. I thought it was just like a way of referring to that style of hats. Yeah, it's the brand. It's the actual brand. What makes yeah. Boston Scully so amazing? I don't know. They're nice hats. They're they're really well well made, and uh, they the styles of them are. <laughs> Are really nice. Are they one of the first to do it? I can't imagine. They no, are. but it it's more like it feels the, like more of an English hat. So, oh yeah, this is this is definitely an English hat. So I'd sure. have trouble seeing the Bostonians being. But it's it's an Irish thing. Uh, okay. So uh, absolutely. Well, very, then that makes very... sense because English in England steals everything from the Celts. Yeah, like the 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 like style of this wives. hat. Yeah, it is called the Peaky. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Hey, can, can we just take a second to appreciate how jacked up it was in Avengers: Age of Ultron, where fucking everybody's trying to pick up Mjolnir, and uh, Tony Stark's like, "Okay, but if I do it, I get to rule. I'm the rightful ruler of Asgard, right?" And he's <laughs> like, "Of course, I am going to reinstitute Primanocta. Yes. And I'm like, like "Dude, this is a movie for past. kids. He's like talking about raping people's wives. What's well, not raping? It's <laughs> on their it's, wedding night. It's, yeah. It's, no, it's the obligation of. It's not the, consensual." Yeah, it was. I mean, it that, that was no. the thing with Prima Nocta. Forced, actually, forced consent. Yeah. Contractual if you ask, consent. If you asked the woman, I'm sure it wasn't. She's consensual. like, I really don't want to do this, yeah. but I fucking it, have to. It was a tax on getting married. That was that was how it was looked at. It was a tax on getting married. No, it was it was a way to keep you know to get in them bloodlines. Oh yeah, it was what as it was. Many of them as boss, dude. I yeah. I just read an article about Genghis Khan. I didn't realize his strategy Motherfucker was hung. Well, his his strategy. That was, that was too much, man. Um, I don't know. I'm trying uh, to get you there. But no, his strategy for taking over kingdoms was he used his daughters. He'd marry them off. And then uh, to get to marry one of his daughters, the son that was marrying his daughter had to go into service for him for a while. So then he just put them on the front line and get yeah. them killed and he'd take over their kingdoms. <laughs> and he did that. That's how he secured everywhere is he just put his daughters around as like the outer wall. I thought it was going to be something cooler, like Order 66, you know? Like fucking 15, 20 years, he's just marrying off all his daughters, and then like they get to the date and they fucking all kill their husbands, and now they're <laughs> the rightful ruler. Execute order, order 77. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah. Execute order 69. <laughs> I've been trying to execute that order. That sucks all the time. It was a bad pun. Oh, uh, yeah. 69. Sucks. That yeah. sucks. Sucks was the bad pun. Yeah, that was the, he was referring to his oh, own. Oh, pun. It was oh, terribly ten. Wow, it that was so bad. That, that was fucking yeah. terribly cyclical. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that was the, just like sick. it was. It was so simple that it was complex kind of thing. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, it's it, it, it's below lowbrow. So I like this one. I've never had this one yeah. from them. It's I don't, enjoyable. It's I don't tend good. towards CLE a lot of the time for the same reason I don't generally tend towards a lot of the uh, Aladino stuff, but. I'll, the San Andreas. They're not as really Corojo nice heavy. Um, yeah. I mean, they've got specific stuff, um, but but like obviously JREs. That's like their yeah, their key down. ingredient. It's like uh, Jesse Pinkman and his fucking putting yeah the curry whatever not curry uh chili powder chili powder chili powder and, and all his meth. Yeah, he's like, no, that's my calling card. The yeah. fucking chili. Pe- <laughs> Just imagine fucking Justo and Julio in a fucking uh, old RV somewhere cooking up cigars. <laughs> like, no, you got to put Corojo in there. That's yeah, that's my calling Le- card. Little bit, little that's bit. my secret ingredient. Little bit more. Uh, what are we gonna add? More Corojo. More Corojo. What else? More Corojo. <laughs> I, I just got a fucking image of them in tidy whities and gas masks. Oh god! Except it wasn't a gas mask; it was who's doing space. So, he... <laughs> dude, I love that picture. Dude, we need to get BGD because I assume he's got theater friends. And Jason's theater theatrical. I have well. a lot of. He, theater he's very friends. theatrical. 
and, and next time they come to town, we just need to have like, I'm thinking a play like from uh, Thor, whenever he comes back <laughs> and, and Matt Damon and, and fucking Matt the other Damon. Hemsworth are doing yeah. the fucking recreation. And we're just going to call, like, as soon as they open the door, we just start, Husto in space. And, and just, there's like three people up here doing it. You know, fuck, BGD's yeah. in a spacesuit. Somebody's supposed to be Sandra Bullock, you know. <laughs> Preferably Seneca. <laughs> Why is there a skunk in the background? That's just Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jason's just tipping over garbage cans. <laughs> you got the, the coffee garbage cans done. for it too. Yeah. You got the perfect metal garbage oh, yeah. cans. It'll like rattle and make a lot of noise. Clang, clang, clang. <laughs> Fill it with bottles first, so you really get that. <gasps> you need a big wow. one That's for him to just said. pop out oh, of. That never mind. And his fucking his like instead of a, instead of a chick popping out of a cake, it's gonna be me popping out of a garbage can with a fucking you, skunk outfit. Did you guys see the SNL version of uh, Sesame Street, the dark version that they did? Mm -hmm. Dude, yes. I'm a grouch. <laughs> Did you see it? Mm -mm. Oh, remind me to show Did you after the show. See that? It was Is impressive. The on me? It, it was good. No. It was, but it didn't get it. By the way, we have like oh. fairly good airflow in here. Uh, <laughs> Fair, fairly good. Yes, yes it moves sure. around a little bit. Um, I'm gonna read the news because I missed it. Fair, well, dude, I'm watching myself go. Look, come on, what? somebody had what? to see it. What? What? Wait, come on, man. Well, you, well, uh, you look. I want to see nothing to help you on there. Well, I want to see the CAO stuff that you were talking about because I, I. This is where I get my cigar news most of the time too. <laughs> All right. The uh, the flathead. The yeah. What flathead. are they doing? Twenty pro. Uh, what's the V twenty three? V twenty three. It's so it's to um, commemorate the hundredth anniversary of Le Mans. Now I don't care about that. What's the blend? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. If it says it, it says it. If not, right. Google. You know what I'm saying? You got all these screens. It's like half the news. <sighs> it's literally all the news. There's not a uh, lot of news this week. Seneca said uh, he wanted to be in an assless costume and uh, call it a moon. He's going to be the moon. <laughs> BGD going to be chasing your ass around, literally. More Ooh. craters than I remember on the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> What moon is that? I don't know, but it's in the Seneca system. <laughs> Fuck, they get closer and closer. That's no moon. That's that's. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know a Star Trek reference for you. No, you're good. I'm yeah. not a Trekkie. <laughs> that's what he keeps saying. He's in the closet. Yeah. I like Star Trek. Like, what? I'm not anti Star Trek. I'm not anti. -star. I don't care. I did, oh, it's cool or it's not. You're cool. anti dentite. Not there yet. You'll no. get there. What is dentite? Maybe. What? It's it's a Seinfeld thing. Oh yeah. Oh, no. dude, fucking uh, the 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 dentist Tim Watley, who is ironically played by fucking the actor who plays Walter White. Oh yeah. And fucking Brian uh, Cranston. Yeah, and uh, he converts to Judaism for the jokes, just so that he <laughs> could tell Jewish jokes while he's fucking working on people's teeth, and this offends and 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 Jerry's pissed. And they're like, why? Does this offend you as a Jewish person? He's like, no, it offends me as a comedian. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fucking all he has to do is like marry a black person now, and he's got the whole market covered or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? So he's then, basically Bill Burr. And so fucking Kramer gets on him because now he's picking on fucking dentists. He's he's like real jacked off, so he keeps making fun of dentists. Like he couldn't even get into medical school and shit. And <laughs> Kramer's like, you know what you are? You're an anti-dentite. <laughs> anti-dentite. It becomes a whole thing, yeah. It's fantastic. Great I think episode. Three times last week, people told me about the episode, The Competition. Oh, yeah. Are you still master of your domain? King of the County. That's well, Queen of the County. Apparently, the best part is when castle. Kramer's like, and I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> like, is that five minutes in? Oh, really? Yeah. No, the best part is so that was relatively early on in the show. So the end, the finale is a two parter to Seinfeld, okay? And essentially, they get their deal with NBC. They go on a fucking the NBC private plane. George is pissed off the whole time because it's not the plane that Ted Danson gets. You know, a fucking the plane almost goes down. They think it's going to go down. And they're like they're all fucking going like, I'm sorry. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. And George is like, I got to tell you something, Jerry. I cheated in the contest. <laughs> fucking throwback from like seven years ago and he's like why he's like because i'm a cheater <laughs> nice yeah it's fantastic oh that is, 
Seinfeld intrigues me, but I can't watch it, man. I'm trying. Getting to the I end is so great. bored. Like it, I get so bored because it's it's very repetitive. It's yeah. very repetitive. That's why you just put it on in the background. Yeah. yeah. And I catch pieces and bits and but like you said it was early on because I'm on like season two or three of it. Mm. I don't remember that. Well, how many seasons are there? At least like there's a 10, bunch. Like 50. Least, there's yeah, a fucking it's bunch. A lot. And if if I'm if I'm gonna watch a show like Seinfeld, I'm just gonna watch Curb Your Enthusiasm because it's way fucking funnier. Really? It's also a product of its time too. Right. You know what I mean? And so that's it's the other like part. You're getting in a little late. Um, decade or so. Yeah. Like it would be a very years. different show. Has it been that long? Oh yeah, dude. Seinfeld was on when yeah, I was in I fucking so. high school. Yeah, dude. It, it ended in the like not even the late late nineties, like nineteen ninety seven or so. oh wow ninety eight. I think it was done. No, I think it ended in early two thousands. Could be. I want to say I was in high school when it ended. The great part is though that two part finale. Holy they shit! Bring back everybody. What? What? Seinfeld first aired July fifth, nineteen eighty nine. And when did it end? It ended. He's gonna be right. Yeah, because it's like fourteen seasons or something like that. Two thousand one. I'm going with one. Because why not? Did they do a Y2K episode? Because I'm sure he would have done that. They did a Millennium thing. Okay. Where fucking Newman Newman reserved Newman a restaurant in New York to have his fucking New Year's party for wow. year two thousand. And then he finds out that he fucked up because Jerry goes like, "Did you did you do the for the two thousand or for the millennium?" He's just for the millennium. And he's like, "Well, there was no year one or year zero, so the millennium isn't until two thousand one. So your party's going to be a year late." Um, Jerry, the the season finale aired May fourteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Ah, uh, it's closer. I said 97. I don't watch the show. I don't feel bad at all. Uh, that's wow. right. I mean, he couldn't even keep a show on my the air victory. for 10 years? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did like 700,000 episodes, you know what I mean? But the cool thing about it is the finale, the two-part finale, and the last episode, they're going to, they're, they're, they're in court. They're yeah. going to go to jail. And so they bring in all these character witnesses, literally like every nobody that was ever in the fucking show, and they recount all of the things and like the contest and yeah. fucking a million other things. But it's great because it's like our show because it's just the same fucking shit that you've already heard. Don't, don't, don't yeah. get, don't let out the secret, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I've said it before. That's why I say it now is because a magician I've never said. reveals his trick. Actually, I'm no the magician. Best magicians show you and then do the trick anyways. And still amaze you. Those are the ones that, that captivate me where the guy's like, all right, watch. I'm going to do this, 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 <laughs> this. You're going to see it, okay? Pay attention. All right, ready? Did you see it? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I won. You know, Jason's like, really? I'm going to make this Dude, butt plug I disappear. I can't, I can't, can't win here. I'm either getting from that side or it's coming uh, off your face. I'm going to start bringing baby powder. When that happens, I'm just going to be like. <laughs> yeah. Up, nope. No, right, well, right yeah. Right now just right, hold right. it. Just hold it. Pull up, pull up your scully cap. I mean, I guess I do have this. You could do that. Use yeah. it. That's then right. we can't see. That's the nice thing about me. Like, eyes, you know, Sam. you ever go? You ever see people set up like a photo studio and they've got all those light reflectors? I don't need one. I, I bring my. He's own. like a man's built in. It's, it's like all bitch. natural. Yep. I just it just gathers light and you start fucking it. turtle waxing your head. Mm. I used to. So, all right. Here's something you don't know. It's your boy. Before we do the show. I, I always used to shave and shower right before the show uh -huh. every week. And I used to use uh, an aftershave lotion on my head. Mm -hmm. It smelled really nice. And I'd put this aftershave lotion on. I stopped doing it because my head was way too fucking shiny. And the, when we started bringing the cameras on, we put the cameras on and my head Glared. looked like a fucking light bulb. Uh, and so I had to stop putting this aftershave on my head. It was too fucking shiny. So Seneca said for his first trick, Jason makes a butt plug disappear. For his second trick, he burps it up. That's right. <laughs> it's all connected. It's one inter interconnected fucking the system. Soul's connected. He's track. like one of those no, people souls. that puts a cigarette in his nose and pulls it out of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> a little raunchy. A little, yeah. little much for him, huh? Just pull a fucking pube out of his teeth. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be a first. Yeah. <sighs> From the shit stick. Oh, no, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, where'd this fucking hair come from? All right, then. Yeah. 
How about uh, the events, shall we? Do it. I have no idea where we do are in the it. timeline, so do we're it. just jumping off. One hour, four it. minutes. This is where I got to get the uh, reading glasses on because the events are in the small print. Fuck. Jason, put your head that way just a little bit. This way. D- yep, right, no, too far. Yep, perfect. Fuck. G- give me a second here to be able to read. Today, Sunday the 20th. I'm like, wait, it's not Sunday. Yes, it is. We do the show on Sundays now. Yeah. Hey, if you didn't know, we do the show on Sundays now. So join us every Sunday at 9.30, thereabouts, 9.30 and, to 10. Well, you know and what? if you don't, you can still like, subscribe, check us out on YouTube. That's right. Spotify. You could do those things. Mm-hmm. You could. But if you want to check it out live, and if you are checking it out live, you should also like, subscribe, and share. Freaking watch our audience just drop to nothing. We're down to two. Uh, today, Sunday, August 20th. The traditional is grand opening. Mark your calendars. What well, you, you don't need to because it's today. Our grand opening event will be Sunday, the 20th, 2023. We'll have plenty of deals on Forge products such as Partagas, Bulva, LaGloria Cabana Diesel, and more. Jay will have the shop opened at noon for everyone to come, hang, make purchases, and take advantage of great deals. But that's not all. At 5 p.m. in the event side of the Squirrel Hill Sports Bar across the street, we'll have a cash bar and smoking will be allowed for the day. Sunday, August 27th at House of Feruza. It's the fourth annual pig roast. Join us at House of Feruza, uh, an outdoor summer festival event so celebrating our awesome community at the barbershop and cigar lounge. This event will be open to the public and will feature live music, a cornhole tournament with a prize for the winning team, great food provided by Off the Rails Barbecue, and lots of giveaways, 50-50 cigar deals. Um, it's going to be a fantastic time. There's a special sign-up price for membership if you join that day as well. Tickets are 25 for adults. The whole family is welcome, and children under 12 get in for 10. RSVP for a chance to win a door prize. Uh, for questions or to RSVP, 412-985. No, 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 no. 412-298-5220 is the number to call. And in addition to that, the Cigar Junkies will be doing a show live at 2 p.m., I believe. Live. That's right. Well, two out of three junkies, which ain't bad. Two out of three junkies ain't bad. I think they wrote a song about that. Two out of three yeah. ain't bad. So I still got more to read, and now I got Sun Glare again, but uh, it's all good. Uh, so we are th- having some of the smoke and blue. Why? Why you got to? Qu- come on, man. Because it's funny. You're fucking killing me. Uh, we will have some of the smoke and blues on the show. I just don't know how many. Maybe two, maybe four, maybe one. But there will be some of them. Might be an even number, might be yeah. an odd number. It'll be some blues. Uh, also Sunday, Sunday, August 27th, 2023, Earl made sure that I went hard on this one because he's got a lot of, that's what she said, is she's got a lot of tickets left apparently. So uh, pay attention because this is one that if I wasn't already signed up to do the show at HOF, I'd be going to this in a heartbeat. I wish I could. Uh, they are doing a cigar and whiskey pairing event with PCC, Ooh. PWF, Jernigans, and LP. So this is Pittsburgh Cigar and Whiskey Friends get together on 8-27-23. So your price is going to be 53 the tip's included, and you can join them for a special event at the new Liberty Pool of Spirits Distillery in Washington, PA, near the Meadows Casino and Racetrack. They'll be pairing three different curated cigars to go with three different whiskeys from the distillery. The event involves smoking each cigar with a specific bourbon, and they'll be pairing a weeded bourbon, a special single barrel rye, and 108, this is in parentheses, 108 proof selected by the owner of Liberty Pool, and just for this event, an award-winning peated bourbon. That's probably what interests me the most. I want to know what that peated bourbon's like. I think that'd be pretty badass, so uh, if you guys have the ability to get out there, I definitely do it. It's a great deal. Uh, seating is limited to the first 30 people, but I know that there's still a decent number of tickets left. Um, you will get a great experience out of it for sure. In addition, Kirill is bringing his new, uh, mobile lounge van over there. And so there will be a la carte stuff available there as far as, uh, cigars as well. Oh, neat. So, in addition to this, the few that you're going to get, uh, just for your sign up price. And then finally, if you haven't already decided that you're going to be out of the state for that day, which is what I would advise, Saturday, September 9th at Leaning House Fine Cigars, you're going to get an acoustic evening with the Strum Junkies. That's right. Me, my guy Nick, are going to be up there 
just fucking strangling cats for your pleasure. Uh, it is a free event, but there's a money back guarantee. You know what I mean? So it's no risk. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That does not include gas money to get there. So don't be coming like, where's my gas money? No. We'll just we'll just refund your admission price if Correct. you're not satisfied. But I actually think it's going to go well. I think it's going to be a good time. I did a little, little kind of preview last night. Everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. The key last night, though, was everybody's already rocked. So yeah. So we'll, we'll see how the sober people feel. When, <laughs> when, when evening. you're getting into it and, uh, you know, everybody's sober at the show. Yeah. You know, a little more be, different. Or... Might be a whole different story. I think now. it's going to be pretty packed, dude. I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, we're going on at seven. We'll probably play seven to ten. Uh, a three-hour set. A three, that's that's, uh, imbe- that's it's, ambitious. It's not a three-hour set. It's two sets. Okay. Over a pay- period of three hours. So I'm assuming you know, we'll do one break in between the two sets, and then uh, I have like stuff ready to go for a third set that we haven't necessarily practiced. How your hands yet. doing? My hands? Yeah. They're, they're fine. I mean, you're playing the guitar, and oh, I, I would imagine... A lot more than normal, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm the, building a little calluses. Yeah, your fingers get a little fucked up the first couple times yeah, and shit nah. like that. So, like, I've never been one to play super regularly, but I never go a ridiculously long time without playing either. Mm. Um, and it's acoustic, so, you know, well, but and that's I mean, all I've ever really played. Dude, acoustic, the, the strings on an acoustic guitar are a lot harder on your yeah. fingers than the strings on an electric guitar. So I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm not more calloused up than I am. My fingers aren't, like, gnarly yet or anything. Oh, dude, my the tips of my fingers when, when I was playing in a band, and we, we practiced probably three or four nights a week down in fucking Homestead. Um and yeah, dude, my fingers, it was like the, the skin would always be pe- like peeling off the tips of them and shit like that. And, but it wasn't like, it wasn't bad. It would, they were just really fucking calloused. And because we, dude, we played a fucking lot. Yeah. We played three to four nights a week, practiced. And then every fucking Saturday we played a show. Every you Saturday. See, I'm, I'm only practicing like two full practices a week, maybe uh-huh. one by myself and one with Nick. Um, and then I'll pick up and play goof around in between just to kind of keep myself on a little bit. But the other thing is too, um, on, I'm on acoustic and playing chords. So that's something too. Like I'm not bar doing a lot of bars. And sure. Stuff. Yeah. And you're not sliding up yeah, and down yeah, the fucking yeah. neck. I'm not like, soloing and shit. So I'm not tearing them up too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So I thought they would get worse than they are, but they're, they're not. So, you know. Why are you so concerned with this, with the uh, the surface area of my fingers? No, I was just asking. I, I thought it was, you know, interesting little topic. Like, how are your hands <laughs> doing? I know, I know that you before this you didn't play on a very, very yeah, regular no, yeah. basis, and now you're getting ready for a show. You're going to do a, a, a not a three hour set, but it'll every bit of two hours. It'll probably go more than you know than that because, like I said, we we've only are really focusing on two sets between the two of us. Sure. But I've been preparing for this essentially since, like, when I got out of the oil field, mm. the junkies was the first thing off the bucket list. So like, okay, I've got me time now. I'm right. going to, like, do something that I've always wanted to do. Playing was the other one. So I've known since then, okay, I want to play more. I want to play with somebody. I want to start working toward playing out. So this hasn't been just the last couple months. It's been building a cat. I had to build a catalog of songs because like fucking I've been playing the same 10 or 15 songs since I was a teenager. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and a lot of them were just half of songs. Like I know like one or two Metallica riffs, <laughs> like the first riff. You know what I mean? It's like, I could right. play new, 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 and that's it. It's like, I could keep doing that all fucking day. I don't know where the song goes from there. Right. Um, which, yeah, dude, were, were you, a, a great one. Well, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to push you into a position where you say I was a great guitar player. But I assume you were a much more active and better guitar player than me. But when I was, was a kid good. in high school, I'd go like we had a pretty loose art class. Like you kind of bring in instruments and fuck around on them if you wanted to in our art class and shit all the time. And so me and a couple other kids would do that shit every every week. 
but I'd watch these other kids play in like Metallica together and shit. And mm -hmm. I'm like, they're, I'm like, these guys are fucking amazing. And I'm still sitting here trying to figure out like fucking the same right the same lick that I've been working on for like fucking three years. Sure, there there was a there was a guy I knew. Um, <clears throat> his nickname was Paige. Okay. And his nickname was Paige for a fucking reason, sure. man. Because this dude, he 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 played a lot of fucking Led Zeppelin and shit, and he was an amazing fucking guitarist at like fucking 14 years old yeah. this dude is playing fucking People riffs like and, and licks and shit like that that were just miles beyond what his skill level should have been but the kid's been playing fucking guitar since he could fucking walk yeah so. see and i was i'm i still to this day and i couldn't play you like a lead for any song the <laughs> whole like the whole song you know what mm -hmm. i mean like i know little parts that are like okay here's the lead lick or whatever sure but, but like real simple shit, like fucking stained outside, right? You know, like not like, oh yeah, no, no I'll just do this. I, it's one my of the, fingers don't do that stuff. One of the coolest leads that I have that I ever learned how to play. Uh, my band covered the song "My Name Is Jonas" by Weezer, and the lead that's in "My Name Is Jonas" I played, and it was that was a, just a it, it was a blast playing it. It was a fun lead to play, yeah. and um. It was it was one of the harder ones that I learned because it was really technical. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about guitars. I know. That's why I just said yeah. the only thing I could say. I missed technically mic, speaking. Yeah. And when I heard you <laughs> say it but didn't hear it come through the, <laughs> the headphones, I was like, oh, I muted that microphone while he walked away from it. It's not, it's not a bad idea. You totally cover stain. You look like a metrosexual Asian Aaron Lewis. I, I, yeah, Asian part wasn't part of it. Me. Okay, you which know. one of us? Him? Yeah, yeah you. Yeah, for I, sure. I definitely more so because he always shaved his head. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, man. Like, so I was talking to fucking Lou, mm -hmm. who's the dude that makes the cigar box guitars last night. I was hanging with him and Dave at the end of the night. Yeah. It was super cool. Awesome dude. We're going to have him on the show at some point. Um, but, you know, Dave's going like, man, you got to get one. You got to, you got to get, get one of these guitars. And I'm like, I kind of feel like it'd be wasted on me. Like I'd have to have a six string. It's because I'm a strummer. Like I play chords. I totally get one. And, and I'm like, totally get one. that three string. Like I, he's like, no man, I'll show you. You'll be surprised. It's awesome. It's crazy. You can play chords on it and stuff. And I'm like, I still feel like I I'd know. be better off. What's with up, Curcio? Okay, go ahead. Man, I I was blowing you guys earlier. I'm yeah. done sucking you off for today. You have to go back and listen on every platform. All of them. Uh, you know what else you can do while you're there? Like, subscribe, share. 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 Sharing would be good. Share the good Sharing's news. Sharing is caring, especially right. when you're share sharing your junkie status. Sorry, you were in the middle of <clears throat> telling a story about cigar box. So, so I don't know. I was, I was just thinking, like, if I do it, I need a six string. But here's, here's something that you can help me with. You need to keep an eye out because at some point I will have one. But I'm talking, you'd like this. I'm like, can I just come to your shop and, like, hang and watch you do it and, like, learn how to do it? Cause that would be fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. really cool. He's like, yeah, dude, I do it seven days a week. I'm like, hell yeah, holy cow. Yeah. So I think what we got to do before we have him on the show, me and Jason got to find a day where we yeah, could just go me. hang at the shop for a little bit, and Jason can shoot some clips, and that way we'll come in and be able to like, oh, here we'll show you during the show like a little bit of what he does, just some highlights. I'm just picturing like you know like like a photo collage of it <laughs> but like play the graduation song in the background while we, like while you're showing it like as he's getting ready to get but on we'll there. play it on the cigar box guitar uh but yeah dude i think it'd be super super cool to fucking do all that shit are are we getting close to the time where we, there are going to be a lot of people showing up here? I, I was figuring i'm wrapping it up okay yeah so don't don't sweat it there um but uh actually i'm gonna need him back for a quick second on that one hey sam what are we smoking next week because you had a cigar picked at. I did. Give me a second. Yeah. His, his brain shut right off when you asked him How do you that. feel about mashed potatoes? I love mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes might be my favorite form of potato delivery. Just because the, the, the chewing isn't there. You know who you used? Dude, my favorite French fries were Burger King's when they had like the three iterations ago of fries. Mm -hmm. They had these French fries that essentially tasted like they took mashed potatoes put them in the stick form, froze them, and then deep fried them. So you get a cr super crispy outside, and then the inside is like mashed potatoes. It was so good. Dude, so when I worked in South America, they had almost exactly what you're talking about, but it was in ball form. 
Okay. okay. So one of the first times Tater I balls. was down, one of the first times I was down there working, we had these as our lunch because we we had a not catered, but a restaurant prepared our lunches for us every day, okay. and we we would get them, we would pick them up, take them back to the house, and then we would take them to the site with us. So I had no fucking idea what these things were. Right, I put my food in the microwave, heat it up, and was eating everything, let it cool down. Start putting balls in your mouth. Grabbed one of these balls and I, I felt it. And I'm like, okay, it's not fucking lightning hot. Tossed it in my <laughs> mouth and bit down. It's, it, I imagine it's like an amateur eating their first pizza roll. It yes? was it's like lava. The temperature of the fucking surface of the sun. Yeah. On that goddamn, I had a blister on the roof <laughs> of my mouth for almost on my a tongue. week. It was fucking horrid. The inside of it was fucking mashed potatoes. Yeah, it, dude, it was. Oh, that was one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. <laughs> one of the worst things you've ever had in your mouth. Next week, we'll find out what else Jason's had in his mouth. But until then, you'll just have to go back and listen to the back catalog because you never know. Yeah, like and subscribe. We talk often about uh, what Jason's had it in. That that should be the new segment on the show. That could be like our last temple. What's Jason have in his mouth? What fucked up thing did Jason put in his mouth this just week? Just fucking everybody has to guess, and then the camera cuts to you, and you're just like, ah. <laughs> Gross. Nobody wants to see the inside of my mouth. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, dude. Nobody at all. I have, I have something called a geographical tongue. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. I can't, dude. There's, oh, there's the microphone was in the way. Behind you, it's like it's like really rigid. And it's it's terrible looking. I don't want to show. Yeah, anybody. all I can see is is just a facade of Jason, just the fucking like a mud flap. Mm. Yeah, like a trucker's mud flap, like a really lonely trucker's mud flap. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, you guys can uh, if you jump on the Facebook group, which you should do. That way, we can hang out with you, like our furry friend out there. You need to be on the Facebook yeah. group. Like we, we want to be able to interact with you. We yeah. got questions. Yeah, we want to know and things. Like, yeah, because we need to figure out the process of getting Jason transformed. And uh, yeah, how do we get started? I mean, right. Uh, I'm here for it. I wonder if Hoover knows. So you got to be in the Facebook group. If you're not, get in there. You can email us at thecigarjunkies at gmail.com. Hang with us every Sunday morning here at 930. Most Sunday mornings here at Most 930. Most Sunday morning. Yeah. And, and honestly more toward quarter to 10 maybe 10 o'clock because <laughs> like who the fuck are we kidding you know what i mean i gotta I'm stop here. advertising it is that just be like hey, just jump on we'll, we'll be around at some point you know between I mean? 9 30 10 o'clock in various stages of hungover um buying time saying words i'm just trying to figure more. out which cigar we we're supposed to smoke next week you said i, I, I had know. one in mind already yeah you told me and then then i don't know it was ah. it was something from somebody it was something from somebody. Mm, something from somebody. Um, it sounds. It well, sounds right. So. No. No. Yeah. No, it wasn't. You're wrong. I know that you're wrong. It was nothing from nobody. Next week, you're not going to be here. Is that next week? That's next. It week, is. Bud. That's uh, why. That's uh, why. So okay. Like, well, what's the uh, one after next week? Because uh, you did have one, but then it no, got pushed. No, I remember it was the soapbox. That was the one that I was. That's the one we did last week. Yeah, it makes sense. So I haven't come up with All one right. since. But I'll have a cigar. I'll pick the cigar before you leave today. So that you guys know next week what to say with the cigar for the following week is going to be. That's fair. So we are smoking something next it week. And I fair. asked, did my calendars just all jacked? Yeah. Uh, we're, already, we're already past the, the Asylum Deck Party. Yeah. Uh, so Sam Rao of House of Feruza wow. will have a cigar for us wow. for next week's show. Wow. Um, wow. Until next time, thanks for hanging out with us. Like, subscribe, share, and all the other whatever you're supposed to do. Salud.